My beautiful friends, welcome to this Facebook Live on what is integrity. I know I popped on just a little bit early to make sure that I had muy macho integrity on my timing. Actually, it just happened. I just left my barber. We were a couple minutes close. A couple minutes I was stressing out whether I would be on here or not. So the question is, my friend, what is integrity? And I'd love for you guys to chime in, please. I posted this a little bit earlier asking the question and asking people to give me their definitions. And their definitions were all amazing. Um, Integrity is doing what you say. Integrity is following through. And I really wish I could read theirs at the same time as I was posting this because it would help even better. So if you guys have something like a question or you have a statement on what is integrity, please pop in. Tell me, what do you think integrity is? Integrity for me up until now has been a word to tell me to do what I do. What I do. do the right thing when, knowing, when no one's watching. That's integrity. Awesome, Lindsay. It's been, it's been, a, a, it's been a, a product of actionable items. Do what you say you're going to do. Um, that includes living your life a certain way, having integrity inside your life. It is you know, following through, following up, all of those amazing things. And yet what I found is that is only a very, very small part of the word integrity. Now, this has come from lots of research, lots of study, and massive amounts of um, meditation and crazy things following up in my life. And I always ask the question like, oh, what do I have to learn here? Things are falling apart around me. And what, what can I learn from this? What's out there for me? And then this integrity, this word is one of them. And I want to share with you what it is that I've learned. And hopefully you can take some of that and take it, if it feels right to you, obviously, put it in your life. So integrity to me now, it's it's the physical foundation that holds up the house, the house of your life. It's the thing that sets below everything, not just a word, not just doing what you mean, but everything. And it's, it's basically a feedback mechanism. It says, look, If integrity is the foundation of your house, if your foundation, for those of you that know real estate or properties, if it cracks, if it starts to settle, if it starts to move, you start to see these little shifts in the foundation of your house. Now, if if I'm going to flip that metaphor to your physical life, when things start to go wrong, integrity is, is the word that you can use to yourself, the technology, the question, the key that says... In this circumstance, where am I out of integrity? And now most people believe that or see in the beginning that integrity is like a lie. But what if integrity meant that you just didn't have the conversation that you were supposed to? Or what if integrity to you, if you were somebody that's, that's losing weight, for an example, and you're like, you know what, I'm on point, I'm on point, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and yet... Every time you cheat on your diet, you're out of integrity for what you want. And then you're wondering why things aren't showing up. So I'm going to give you a real personal example for me in my life and why this word is such a big, big word. Um, Because it, it, it literally encompasses anything in your life. So I'm like 24. You know, right now I'm 42. So I'm, I'm going back. I'm going back a few days for you guys. I'm like 24. You know, I was dyslexic growing up, barely graduated high school, was in a construction field, and by this time, I'm divorced with two kids. Um, in my life, I knew I wanted more. What was, you know, I knew there was more out there. And I let these voices slip in my head, and most of those voices were created by myself, that would think and say things like, you'll never be loved. And that was a big global Lie. That's a lie that I'm telling myself. It's out of integrity of my heart because my heart knows like I deserve love, right? So then there's another part that says you'll never be loved unless you're rich. If you have a lot of money, somebody will then love you. So if I put that word up into integrity, is that having integrity with myself? But Because my, myself, I knew better than that. But yet I forced myself to believe that. And so I fought and I pushed. And I'm like, you know what? If I become rich, somebody's going to love me. And then I did it. And then I got divorced again. And it didn't work. And immediately shot back to me and said, well, hell, I thought all I had to do is, you know, be rich and this thing would work out. 
I didn't think that there were any other problems out there. Instead of being able to, t- to, to look at love like, and ask myself the question, like, what is it that I need to feel love? And how do I need to feel loved from other people? And then use integrity to say, am I living my life according to that? Or am I not? And I knew at that point I wasn't, so it started me off on a different directory, trajectory. It started me, I had to shift. And so this integrity thing, put that up to this last couple of weeks. I've had several different things come at me where old contracts or new contracts or friendships, where things started to twist and it didn't feel right. It didn't feel right on both sides. And so we get to ask ourselves the question, where are we out of integrity? And is it just that other person? Did somebody lie and cheat? No. But yet did things change like two or three or four degrees and it just didn't keep us in integrity so it didn't feel right so eventually things fell apart. Instead of noticing the moment that something started happening that started going wrong, you get to ask the question like, is this integrity with what I said? Is it integrity for me? I get asked a lot for help sometimes that if I were to provide it, it would be out of integrity for them, the receiver end, because they wouldn't have to learn what it takes to use and have access to these things long term. Money, mindset. And would it be an it would it be inside of integrity for me to just hand things to somebody who's not going to use it and not going to appreciate it? It's like doing something for a loved one over and over and over again where you know and you've had those conversations that they don't appreciate it, yet you do it still and you do it because you like to get mad at them because they don't appreciate it instead of just stopping doing it and having those conversations. So this word integrity, this piece is so much more encompassing than just doing what you say you're going to do because that's a part of it. What about living your life the way that you're supposed to according to your own rules? What about treating people the way that you want to be treated? What about treating your body the way that it should be treated? What about treating your finances the way that they deserve to be treated? Are you a good steward over money? Like there's a lot of us that have financial issues, but we're out. Jeez, that's the second phone call that came through while I have do not disturb on. That's intense. But there's a lot of us that have financial issues that are out of integrity with our spending habits and we don't know why we're having problems and we don't know why we can't get ahead yet we're completely out of integrity with the way that we're living about our finances so the coolest thing about this word is if you're struggling at all anywhere ask yourself the question am i in or out of integrity with that and if the answer is i don't know dive deeper And if the answer is no, I'm not, dive deeper into it and find out why. Because those little small changes are so amazing. And once you start to integrate this into your life, like on a consistent basis, the shifts are radical and they're fast. And you can get over problems and get through things faster and faster and faster. Honor and integrity. Honor, integrity, valor, love. All of those, Corey, are are strong words and all have meanings much deeper than the words that we're giving it. Honor your word is what some people would say. Yet yeah, honor encompasses so much more than the word honor. All of them do, which is why I chose to use the word integrity. Integrity kept coming up. Are am I integrity in my life? Am I integrity with what I'm supposed to be doing here on this planet? And there were several times over the last couple of weeks the answer was no. Then it wasn't good or bad. It just said I got to change things. So I got to dive deeper into the word of integrity and see what that really means. And I got to honor myself too. Like, is it in integrity to just give everybody everything and get nothing in return? If that's a business transaction, it's not. Or is there an opportunity where you give too much? Is that in integrity? There's a lot of these, these things that float around that are all questions. And at some point in time, you get to say, I need to be in integrity with myself and what I want too. And with what my calling is, what my life is. And doing what I'm doing now or receiving what I'm receiving now is not just compensation for what I'm building or for what I'm doing. So 
So how do we get to move forward in a brave new world? So my friend, if you're finding anything that's out of balance, ask yourself seriously the question. If you don't meditate, just be quiet for two minutes. That's it. Take some breaths, count them for a couple minutes, slow down, and then ask yourself, am I integrity with the way that I'm supposed to be living? Am I integrity with what I want out of my life? And if it's not, then it's the hard part, which is changing it. And it can be easy. It can be a shift that fast. And it might be a talk. It might be a conversation that you have to have with somebody. Or it might be much bigger because it's the way that you're physically living your life. You're out of integrity with your life. And you get to change that. Friends, I appreciate you. If you have any questions, comments, pop this stuff down. Love to keep this conversation going longer. If you're stuck in figuring out, like, I just can't figure out where in my life or how to change those things and live in that integrity. That's not a bad thing. Living outside of integrity isn't like you're evil or you're a liar or a cheater or a stealer or whatever bad word or whatever negative condensation you wanna put on it. It just means there's something in your life that you're not quite sure. How do I integrate that and actually slip that into integrity? It's not a judgment call. It's just how do I dial my life in so that I'm pointing on my true north? Not my mom's true north, not my dad's true north, my true north. How do I find that? So if you have questions, direct message me on this. We'll talk soon, guys. I appreciate you. Love you. Bye.